Now to the sharpening rhetoric between the United States and North Korea. After the North described U.S. demands to denuclearize as, quote, gangster-like. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo responding, if that's true, then the world is a gangster. ABC's Tara Palmieri is traveling with Pompeo in Vietnam. Tonight, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo drawing a line in the sand, telling the North Koreans if they think his demands for denuclearization are gangster-like, he's got plenty of company. If those requests were gangster-like, they are the, the world is a gangster. Pompeo still insists that this weekend's talks had North Korea reaffirming its commitment to complete denuclearization. This, despite that staggering statement released after his departure calling U.S. talking points, quote, cancerous and deeply regrettable. The road ahead will be difficult and challenging, and we know critics will try to minimize the work that we've achieved. While the president has maintained extreme confidence in the deal he and Kim signed at the historic summit. Thank you very much. It's fantastic. North Korea has yet to deliver on its end. Reports claim they've expanded their missile testing facility rather than dismantling them. And there was Kim's pledge to return the remains of war heroes. He gave us the remains of our great heroes. They're giving them back. Nobody thought that was possible. But that, too, has yet to be honored. President Trump, on the other hand, did end military exercises known as war games, even using North Korea's language to describe them. I wanted to stop the war games. I thought they were very provocative. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo did maintain a hard line on the current sanctions against North Korea, saying they'd be enforced with great vigor. Tom? Tara, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.